Are the European Central Bank keeping benchmark interest rates unchanged? Here now is Eric Weigand of U.S. Bank. So, Eric, the ECB is saying it expects interest rates to, quote, remain at their present levels for an extended period of time and well past the horizon of net asset purchases. So that's a pretty significant development. You know, it is, uh, but it is somewhat uh, expected. There was views going into this meeting that there was going to be some moderation in the language, and effectively that's what it is. They removed the downside bias. Previously, they had su suggested that they would maintain at current or lower levels. Uh, so they removed the language regarding lower, and, you know, as a, a, as a dovish tone, they've issued language suggesting that it's going to be for an extended period of time. So uh, in some ways, it's acknowledging the accelerating growth that we're seeing out of the Eurozone, uh, but also acknowledging that there remains very little inflationary pressures. Well, and it also means that negative interest rates are here to stay for at least the foreseeable future because those asset purchases are set to end in December of this year. Yeah, and they haven't addressed the asset, the, the level of asset purchases. They will continue at the 60 billion euro level per month. And because there was debate in the ECB over whether to get interest rates out of negative territory and then end the stimulus, but clearly the ECB throwing cold water on that idea. Cor correct. I think they'll, uh, like we've seen with a lot of central banks, they'll tend to err on the side of caution, uh, you know, preferring to extend accommodation uh, as opposed to, you know, jeopardize uh, what has been a fragile recovery. Now, from a stock's point of view, are you more bullish on European equities or U.S. equities? Because a lot of the strategists I've been speaking to favor Europe over the U.S. You know, uh, Europe and developed international has become more of a, you know, a, of a popular play, and we would echo that. Uh, we do think that we are seeing uh, political risk receding in the Eurozone. We are seeing uh, improvements as far as the economic activity, whether you look at GDP or um, industrial production levels, they're improving. Uh, unemployment, uh, while stubborn and uh, at, at elevated levels, is coming down. We are seeing the consumer engaging once again. So we tend to favor uh, equities, but we do acknowledge that, uh, you know, uh, Europe is, is more, uh, you know, attractive at these levels. Uh, and it's also because the European economy seems to have more room to run. They're at the earlier stages of the economic cycle than perhaps we are here in the U.S.? Uh, earlier stages as well as continue to have more uh, monetary accommodation being provided. Mm -hmm. So that continues to be supportive. Okay. All right. Well, Eric Weigand, thanks for joining us from U.S. Bank. Thank you. All right. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.